The Zwift Games are here, but who will be crowned the GCM World Champ? The Zwift Games promises to be the biggest indoor cycling event of the year, with both the world's best and community riders fighting it out over three different types of races to discover who the kings and queens of e-racing really are. We've been given a sneak preview to see what it's all about and find out which GCM presenter is really top dog. Our German, French, Spanish, Italian presenters are all throwing their hat into the mix. We've even got the triathletes over there from GTN who think they've got a chance. And we've got a full squadra here in the GCN Megabase to take these races on. Who, though, will prove to be the fastest? Three distinct races make up the Zwift Games. The Sprint, the Epic and the Climb. So there's something for every sort of rider. Winners will be crowned for each race, as well as an all-round best Zwifter at the end of it all. Oh, no. Each race will take place on a different day, but for our own champs, we've condensed everything into one day, starting with the sprint. In the actual Zwift Games, this will be over a series of three short races. Top riders advancing to the final to fight it out for the win. And of course, this is one for the sprinters, which I am not. Our race will be 6.2 kilometers long around the Glasgow Crit Circuit, and the winner will be crowned best sprinter, but will also take home maximum points, which will be added to the points gained in the epic and climb races, which we're about to do in a second. But right now, we've got two minutes until the sprint begins. First race to see who's gonna be crowned best GCM presenter. Are we ready, folks? Oh yeah. I need more energy than this, flipping out. We've got GTN over there. Thinking they're, thinking they're something. Right, the race started two minutes ago, mate. Did it start? The race has started, yeah. No, it hasn't started, yeah. It started, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is what I've got to deal with. Oh, we're off! Here we go, first race is underway, the sprint. 6K, very short, very snappy. I do not want to get dropped from the gun. The neck. Why are we all so competitive? Looking like Cy and Alex are the ones to beat. We're inside the last kilometer now, and this has turned into a battle between Cy and Alex. Tech versus the Cyborg. I've got to admit, oh, it's hard to tell. Looking at the facial expressions, Cy's potentially more in control. Alex looks like he's just pushed out quite a big poo on the toilet, but he's hanging in there. First race, who's going to get it? Alex is kicked, Alex is kicked early. Can Sai match him? This is it. Do or die, nine more tequila for Alex and he takes the win. Sai in second. Ollie rolls over the line in third place. Brutal. Yeah. I just know way I'm way of describing a sprint race in Zwift. Full gas, take deep breaths, hang on to the line. Okay, we are moments away from race number two. You should be able to see the current scores up on the leaderboard on screen now. The Epic, though, is gonna be a different story and you can sense that everyone's getting a bit nervous. Into the big dog. Five seconds to roll and we're into it. And we're up. We're up. Ah, the starts are brutal. It's a long way to go to finish after this climb, so you'd be wise not to go too hard. <sighs> Sitting in the pack now. Get some sandwiches in me, have my little treats. 
bide my time. With a longer race, tactics come into play in the Epic and the start is a cagey affair. But not for long. Everyone wants to win here and the competitiveness shows. Before long, there is a split in the peloton, with Ollie, Side, James, Sebas and Alex forging ahead on a descent. Will the win come from this select group or have they set the pace alight too early? Judging by the look on Hank's face, the game could be up. Let's keep the pressure on for a minute, and Sai. Let's keep the group moving. We'll work Sebas over. So then one of you attacking later. Sebas, Sai, Five amigos stay away, and it is obvious now that the creme de la creme of GCM presenters are rising to the top. And it's Ollie who breaks free in the closing kilometers to take the win with a classy ride. The Tech Channel have brought the heat, and the duo's hold on this championship is looking unbreakable with just one race to go. So it's still all to play for at the top. For me, I think Ollie is still the favourite. But Sai and Sebas, Dark Horses, Alex. I wouldn't say he's normally a climber, but he's, he's proved pretty punchy in this one. And we are moving on to the climb, which is going to be a serious test. Now remember, all the elite races are taking place on separate weekends as the Zwift Games progresses. The climb is going to be the last one. Elite A and B category riders will do this on the road to Sky Course. So just over 17K long, over 1,000 metres of elevation gain. We, though, are going to be racing on a shortened course on the Mountain Mash, a new course which has been released just for the Zwift Games. It's 5.9K long, 335 metres of elevation gain. Who's going to take it? I think my money's on Ollie. Right then, 10 seconds to go, the Mountain Mash beckons. <laughs> I've attacked. It's <laughs> my one chance. I'm going for it. There you are. Oh, I've been immediately dropped. <laughs> immediately dropped. So I think Sebas is out of the game. Ty and Alex are currently duking out. First and second place, neck and neck with 2.4K to go. Ollie two seconds back, along with Max. Slightly distanced at this stage, just surprising. A long way of this climb still to go though. Okay, so we're inside 2K to go at the front. Three riders together, Alex, Sight and Ollie. I'm doing a bit of quick maths in my head. So of course there's the plaudits for the climb, up for grabs. But in terms of the overall competition, it's mainly now between Alex and Ollie. So whoever gets that second place on the climb is going to take the overall best GCN Zwifter. It's hotting up over there. Alex is looking, he's got his game face on. Ollie's looking suspiciously fresh. It's all to play for. It's all kicking off at the front, coming towards the finish. Ollie's put down the first big attack. Size trying to follow, he's got him in his grasp. But this is a serious test now of the Wiley Cyborg. 
Alex, on the other hand, looks as if he's just had three cream crackers for breakfast without any butter. He's suffering. He's in the box. Can he hold on? Looks to me as if Ollie's running away from it at the moment. Three second gap now to Bridgewood. Stomping on those pedals like the Terminator, wearing a hairband. Oh, size so clawing him back. He's clawing him back. Absolutely disgusting effort. It's not over yet. And the finish line is inside. Bridges put in a dig. Size so trying to close, but it's too little, too late. And it looks like Ollie is going to take the mountain mash climb. Alex finishing off third place. Looks like he is actually about to crawl into a hole. Ah. And never surrender. Fair play, all. Well done, Ollie. Ollie. Well done, Ollie. Ah. Took the V. Right then, our very own Zwift Games has come to a close. Remember, the actual winners of this in March get a very own status symbol in game that we'll be able to brag with for the rest of the year. But we will have to be content with listening to Ollie bang on about the facts that he took the victory. Whoa, oh, well done, Ollie. Fair but, play, yeah. yeah, fair one. Yeah. Fair enough. It was good effort. That's you absolutely. Deserving. Deserving. Those Thanks. team tactics in race two have come back to bite us in the bum, haven't they, Alex? Yeah, because, well, <laughs> results after Ollie, a little bit surprising. Alex was actually in second place. Come on, GCN so, well, Tech. Uh, no, yeah. Alex. <laughs> si missed out on the second spot, but he did take third place, oh, sorry, rounding out the podium. Yeah. Got Sebas in fourth, Max there in fifth, James Kanama. Honourable mention. James who? In also sixth. known as Kunamara. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kunamara, that's what I said. It's Kunamara. Kunamara. How'd you say it, James? Kunamara. 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 Right, pick, we pick no, up No, 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 no. Kunamara is a place in Ireland. I thought it was Kunamara. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, yeah, it's Kunamara. 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 Kanama. James. James from GTN. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. James from GTN was in sixth. Way! <laughs> and then you should be able to see the rest of the results on the screen now. Just pay attention to the fact that I beat Hank by three, <laughs> three points. Well done. Can uh, I just say how much I enjoyed that, genuinely? Mm. I've not like I've not been to Refresh in this winter. I've only been doing the group rides, but that was absolutely yeah. mega fun. Yeah, that was, it was the toughest was I've fun. ridden for a long time. Yeah, I can tell. For two weeks <laughs> since you were in Australia. <laughs> yes, is there? <laughs> I'm a training camp. I just wish I was in better form. I think we have to rerun in a few weeks. Yeah, I'll okay. also, also put in some training. Yeah, but don't forget there is a ton of racing going on in March. You can get involved in the Zwift Games too. It doesn't matter if you're an elite racer or anyone. Even Killian Kelly can get involved and try and take on some of the category of racing that's going on. And you can catch the elites action on Zwift's channels too if you want to stay abreast of everything that's happening. But I don't know else. why I just clapped. <laughs> You deserve a clap, mate. I think well, you thought Connor had finished. Yeah. He carried on talking. <laughs> <I know. laughs> right, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you in the next video.